What's going on members? It's your boy Lisa Mutupia. We're back again onto my YouTube channel. Obviously, you know, today we're going to be speaking about a lot of interesting stuff. Firstly, you know, um, we're going to be speaking a bit more about how we see the markets for the week. All these things that you can do in order to just be able to make some profits on the markets. Né? But not only that, obviously, you're going to gain some knowledge on. I noticed that a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me, asking me about FTMO and all those things. And fortunately, you know, I was one that was able to, you know, allow my team members, my traders to go through with it. And then now we're going to be, you know, speaking a bit more about what they've been through and, you know, um, some of the ups and downs that they've experienced. And, you know, if they happen to have not passed, what is the cause? And if they happen to have passed, what actually is the cause and all those things. So we are going to be transparent with you because one thing that I want to is that I want us to get to a specific point where we get to, um, you know, show you guys how you can also get funds, you know, because like, you know, yes, you can pay for your cause, get, um, you know, knowledge and all these things. But what now when you have the knowledge, what are you going to do with all that knowledge? You need money, obviously. So instead of you going out there and asking people, people for money, you can easily just get them, you know, get an account, prove yourself to be, um, you know, to be valuable, prove yourself to have the right skills and then make money just like that. So um, those are things that we're going to be covering. So let's get on to it with the day. Okay, so while we're getting on with the day, I don't know. Okay, I think today we should just go with. Okay, this one, it's been a while since I took this one yet to work. So let's go. something you know what you can flip into something you know so but yeah you know while driving to the office i just thought of something and i thought maybe it'll, it'll be wise for me to share with you like it's important of you to be able to just stay focused towards what it is that you want it's important of you to just you know understand what it is that you want and move towards it no matter what no matter the cost no matter who's gonna have to be cut out on the way no matter what obstacles that you face you just have to make sure that you are pushing through pushing through as long as it's for a better purpose as long as it's for a better cause then why not why not why not why not why not why not I've now landed at work. You know, we've now landed at work, so it's all about seeing what you can do inside there, how much you can download today, and how many lives you can impact and change. Just go. Okay, so guys, here we are. You know, I'm chilling here with Hope, and you know, we're discussing some of the things that we're looking at, you know, because her role, her coming to the work each and every day is actually very important, especially for our clients, for the people that are coming into here and, you know, getting and asking for our services. So what I've done is that I'm dedicating the next three days into just being sitting down with her, learning as much as I can from her and then teaching her also some of the things that she can apply to just so we create a super effective system that people can be able to appreciate and you know feel at home whenever they walk into here. So what's going to happen now is that I'm going to analyze the markets, we're going to be looking at just 30 and then afterwards we're going to have our young mini interview of what actually is going on with our FTMO funded accounts. But yeah, let's just jump into the chats now as we're talking. Okay, so guys, what's gonna happen now is that I'm gonna just, you know, come here and go through. Obviously, you know, we celebrated our 100k last week. We had celebrated, you know, it was amazing. So I don't wanna waste a lot of time, you know, because we want to, um, you know, we're gonna be jumping onto a live session soon, um, you know, at three, which is like, you know, the next few minutes with our members, just so they're able to, you know, see um some of the things that we're gonna be looking at when it comes to, you know, trading and all these things, you know, and, so what i want to do here okay i'm not sure if i'm recording my screen i want to record my screen first just so okay, five, four, okay just so we can start with this so okay um last did speak about your study um you can see here right here on my charts let me just even zoom in here so 
we are extra focused on it um last week we did see one thing that i like is that i like cleaning up my charts so you did see we got that beautiful trade here and then boom it went all the way to the upside up until you know future highs and you know massively so one would be thinking oh, if i held this trade you know i'll be making so much money now that's true but you know it's the market so each and every day there's an opportunity you don't have to blame yourself for some of the things that you missed okay so I'm going to start off first now since I'm looking at, you know, entering with um 5 minutes or 15 minutes. I'll just start off first with the 4-hour chart, you know, just so I'm able to see that bigger momentum. Um, Especially, you know, half past 3 is going to be a few minutes from now. There we go, just like this. Okay. And then, um, obviously, you know, I can simply see we've got our first low here. We've got our second one exactly right here. And obviously, you know right here is where price is either going to give us a third touch or we're going to continue spiking upwards but the most important thing here is that you can see price is just continually going upwards now so now let me just go to the 60 minute chart there we go 50 minute there we go so now on the 50 minute um you know i'm able to pick up this beautiful movement yeah let me just get this to okay, obviously you know impulse it's highs higher low higher high higher low higher high and we are now at a higher low so now let me just see what actually is pressuring me here are we are we there is there a higher chance of us coming all the way down to here or are we just gonna spike all the way up to here so i've got so far with my mindset i'm seeing different types of situation this is an area this is an area so what can happen is either let's take a look at this either price is gonna you know go down test at these areas i'll draw them formally for you so you're able to see but with the one hour i just wanted you guys to see obviously you can see there's an area where i already had you know it broke out it came back to retest already this is also a support area which if it does happen to come down it'll give us um you know um what's it it'll happen to give us support and then we'll have to buy there and my third buying zone would be here so if price breaks below here then i will just stay away from looking for buys yeah? so for now i've got three buying areas buying power so i'm looking at into buying the first one which is right here whatever can those take a gauge here i'll take a buy or if it does go down i'll take a buy somewhere here and somewhere down here i'll take a buy which is fair yeah? it's fair it's fair it's fair Okay, so now what we do is that I'll go to the 15 minute. Remember, we came all the way from the four hour. I'll go to the 15 minute. Now we focus on not trend lines, but what our zones are saying. Let me remove this. This is supposed to even just be on the four hour. Okay, not on minutes. On hours, it should be on the four hour. There we go. Okay, let me just activate this. This right here, there we go, just like this. Obviously, I'll take it from the body up until right here. Okay, you can simply see all the way from here to up here, and then I'll put the one just below here. So, if it happens to have went a bit more to the downside, now. so what happens now is that now I'm looking at this movement. Okay, so I, I'm able to see where it supports here, all those things. Now, I'm focusing a bit more on yes we got this impulse basically we are now in a corrective correction but now this correction is amazing because look at this it started correcting here gave us double bottoms first second it broke out we had our resistance here it broke out came back to retest so now there's a high chance of us going up so that's a scenario that i have for now which I believe we can see price going upwards. So obviously if it doesn't respect that and like, you know, it decides to go a bit more down, we can get a third touch on the support and then we can look for buys buy. If it doesn't play out that way, obviously it means that price is gonna break, come all the way down to here. Once price is here, what can happen here is that, you know, once it does break and come all the way down, we can look for buys somewhere around these areas. So that's what I'm looking at for now. Obviously our maximum targets would be somewhere around these areas even though it can create more highs you know how it is with the state it can create more highs obviously but it's all about keeping charts simple guys you can see with my charts there's not a lot there's literally nothing that makes it look complicated or interesting i'm not trading to make my charts look nice i'm trading to actually you know be able to understand my charts personally and make money off of me understanding them because otherwise then i'm gonna struggle okay you can see here obviously we had a gap in the morning um somewhere around here we had a gap let's see if it did close we had a gap this gap here 
um okay i think it did too so we still fit but um let me just add this line and also maybe this you can see a young pattern that is already you know presented to us the press wants to push a bit more to the upside like boom it broke out it's now retesting so it's going out so um there's also some sort of resistance here which you know i believe you can start buying by now and once it breaks above here that's when it has fully confirmed that this beautiful buy like once it breaks out of here that's when i'll say that it is fully confirmed it's buying eh? that's when i'll say it is fully confirmed it's buying okay but for now maybe a treat just like this because i can see the candle through here is a bit more amazing just like this keep it a bit more safe it's still a monday we have to be a bit more careful three to five we'll play around that or if you want to be a bit more aggressive okay i can even see um i love seeing this left shoulder here head and a right shoulder right here guys and the right shoulder right here so there's a high chance of us going to the upside so that's it for you aesthetic guys um i know that you did get to see what's actually going on now it's the part that you've been waiting for understanding the most important thing when it comes to ftm accounts i'll just give you guys a brief explanation about it and most importantly we'll just you know just talk a bit more about it with our mentors just so they're able to talk with some of the apps and does that they've been through so you are able to learn from people that are going through the steps and not only that but we are thinking of also adding it into as one of the um, lessons into you know um the the forex jesus course just so you are able to learn get the skill get um get fundings and you know be able to just live a life that you wanted to live so i think there's a three that i'm gonna i'm gonna have to take soon so yeah i'll 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 i'll, I'll see you guys with the mentors just now Okay, so guys, yeah, we are, we are here with, you know, um, I started first with, you know, our mentor, Funny Like a Mamba, you know, we are in the building, where are we, my brother? We are in the building, 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 in the building. so <laughs> yeah, what I'm doing here is that, you know, um, we're having a sit down here, so what we done is that we literally, you know, we started up with FTMO, how, how many days has it been now with FTMO? Come again. How many days has it been? It uh, has been like, uh, let me just check uh with the, the challenge to be honest it has, it has been five days uh, five days. opened uh, five positions in five days okay yeah but we started on the 8th of april okay so yeah so, so yeah yeah so basically start on the 8th of april so but with the trading days remember there's weekends we don't count weekends there's trading days so on the trading days it's like literally um you know five days that we are now at and you know i want us to just you know uncover some of you know his ups and downs that he's been through so you can also get to see that normal people do get to you know experience some of these things so now can you just um you know funny like my brother you can please just you know ex from your understanding of ftmo what actually is going on like what is it like what's going on with ftmo um okay guys so yeah to be honest with ftmo it's not too complicated to be fair uh, my understanding of FTMO, like when I started FTMO, some of the things I didn't know them to be honest and it really became uh, some of a barrier to say uh, because of you know if you are new to something and you still have to do some digging on it but uh, it's not too complicated, uh, I'm, still on, I'm still at it uh, to be honest, I took a loss uh, on GA uh, of which I learned something on it, my stop loss was too tight on GA but eventually it went into my direction but uh, you know, like uh, I have to manage my emotions. I shouldn't chase my ch my trade. So uh, I just stepped out, uh, took another trade uh, on board. Oh, no, my, bro my brother is now talking about trades and stuff. And we just wanted, because I don't want you to dive a bit more like detailed. We'll speak about trades, you know, in, in the, yeah, just now. I just wanted you to just give you know to someone out there that doesn't know FTMO or what's going on the FTMO or what actually is it like you know what goes on like if now I don't know and I'm watching this video what is FTMO you understand oh, yeah that's all I meant oh, um, oh, okay. yeah just yeah just a simple you know yeah. one way I mean one sentence thing so how can you just break it down to us for um okay so basically FTMO is uh, when uh, you just register with this company called FTMO and then they give you a demo account to practice so they just want to see if you are a consistent trader so that they can give you real money to trade for them and then they also split the profit you take 70 percent and then they take 30 percent of that profit it's all up to you if you still want to uh, withdraw the 70 percent profit that you made or you still want to keep it but then they take that 30 percent at the end of the month nice 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 so you got it you, you understood how it works so basically it's just like you know a company that deals with giving funds to traders out there so if you haven't got funds but you've got the knowledge the skill don't have to go out there asking people for money just take 
you know some of the dollars that you know they sell these accounts not even expensive but you buy um you know one of the accounts and then you have to prove yourself to be worth keeping that money and then once obviously you have passed the challenges which is very simple that's when you'd be able to you know um um, we'll speak about the challenge, how it works in the late, late, later stages. Now I just want us to focus more on, you know, um, what actually the, 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 the daily um, struggles or daily, you know, wins of someone that has already been in it. Because also me, I wanted to know information back then, you know, I, I liked information. I liked it when I would see that, okay, you know, this person is doing it more hard as well. How does it feel to be like that, you know? So, yeah, so can you talk to us about it? But ever since you started you know trading this ftmo fine let's say now let's speak about trading days not when we had registered name since it's now five trading days ever since you did you know from the very first day till now talk to us about you know your journey but please just not you know or, or speak too or like don't speak too detail about each and every single thing like just talk to us about your journey like you know um, what you've learned and what you haven't learned what you were able to figure out about the ftmo trading about also yourself uh, okay guys, so one thing I noticed that uh, with FTMO is that there is one thing that you should know that there is a difference between a big account and a small account. So with a big account, you have a more room to, to make those mistakes and learn from them. But with a small account, you don't have room for mistakes. You just have to be always, most of the time, accurate because of just one trade that goes against you takes almost all your account. So with uh, FTMO, they just give you like uh, for this one we took off ten ten thousand US dollars. So there is a bit of more room to for for us as mentors and everyone who's taking the challenge, of course, to make those mistakes. That's one of the things that I learned uh, about FTMO and that there is psychology behind trading big accounts because of sometimes you think okay just because of this is a big account you just have to enter those trade careless. You only to find out you just gonna keep on taking those losses and if those losses they pile up. They tend to become even bigger uh, loss. You find already you've already lost the, the, the challenge before you even uh, notice it because of you've been thinking, okay, I have ten thousand dollars account. It's big, so I cannot blow. So only find out you're no longer meeting the the requirement of the of the challenge. Okay, okay. No, that's 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 you know um it's it's amazing to hear a mindset of someone that is literally living some of these things because everyone can give you information and details, but to see someone living it when someone made it out of like you know why whatever situation that you're in it's easier to understand things from them because they've been in that situation so they didn't just learn and hear it from someone else so no um can you please just you know unpack for us like um can you please also just bring the camera forward so we are able to see the dashboard i'm sure people out there asking themselves so okay what actually is going on in the dashboard what are things like what is this challenge what is it so if you can just come forward and you know see um, you know what, what's going on in the dashboard can you please just explain to us from like you know um the very top um which is somewhere around here and then you know unpack us going down us on what it is that you see on a daily basis yeah okay guys so as you can see that uh here i took a trade of which it was currently at a break even here it was okay. i think it was nasdaq yeah. and then i took the ge trade that put me on a drawdown of about 97 dollars let me check uh, 70 76 dollars okay uh, 79 dollars yeah. and then i took another trade of gold of which uh, put me uh, around about break even of this uh, challenge okay so you can see so i'm currently running at a break even to be honest okay. uh, so here you can see the minimum trading days it's five days so this literally means that i've taken five trades on this challenge of FTMO, so okay. currently I'm not passing this because of I have to take a ten trade, which is the minimum of ten days. Okay, uh, when it's piled up. Oh, and so then, so so once you know it gets to ten minimum trading days, that means you have passed. I've passed. Okay. Yes. And then, so far you passed also the 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 the, the okay yeah it took to us about this yeah so here you can see that uh, the minimum daily loss is 500 us dollars okay and my loss uh, the highest loss that i've taken is 72 dollars so currently i've passed this one nice and nice so see, so just a quickly reminder um you know what is the account size uh, the account size is ten thousand US dollars. Ten thousand dollars. So the maximum daily loss that you took is only seventy two dollars. Yes. Which is amazing. Which is brilliant because other people would be thinking that it's not amazing one two three. But this is proper risk management, guys. Like us as traders, we are focused more on risk. As soon as I started applying risk management, that's when I started, you know, seeing exponential um, results. But yeah, can you continue? Yes. Yeah, so as you can see here, guys, uh, the maximum loss. 
Uh, so the maximum loss you can see that I have taken 112 US dollars, okay. of which the maximum loss for the whole competition has to be a thousand dollars. So so far I've just taken like uh, on those five trades that I've taken, yeah. I've taken about uh, 112 US dollars, which I passed this challenge. Okay, so so, so 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 basically here yeah, I'm um, with ten thousand dollars. A hundred dollars what is one percent? Ne? Yes. It's one percent. So basically, your maximum loss is only so far is just one percent. Yeah, one point Basically. one point two okay. somewhere there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, it makes yeah. perfect sense. Yeah. So here, the profit target, as you can see, the profit target is ten percent of uh of of is ten percent of ten thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, ten thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, here so far, I'm not passing this challenge because of my profit has to be like what has to be like a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thousand, yeah, dollars. So yeah. Okay. So this is something that we obviously have to hit here. Yeah? yeah. So yeah. So then uh, the start of the challenge was the eighth of April, and then it's gonna end on the seventh of May. April. May. And then, <laughs> yeah, of May. May. Yeah, uh, seven million. Yeah, yeah. So mm. then uh, the deposit was ten thousand. Ten thousand. See, ten thousand dollars. Yeah. They provide a FT more account. Uh, okay, FTMO. so account type is FT more. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see here, there is total total uh, permitted loss. And so then from, max, yeah. yeah, max permitted loss so far. So I have like now because of I took that loss, I have like nine hundred and ninety one US dollars. Yeah. So today's profit. Uh, so today I haven't taken any, any trades yet. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be half plus. It's going to be half plus soon. So we have to we have to done with it. Yeah, like, yeah, we have yeah, to done with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the last update it has been like uh put in April. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, if you can just check here my win rate is fifty seven point four fourteen percent. Wow, this is, is beautiful. Yeah, which is good, which is Yeah, good. this is powerful. Because yeah. you've got yo, this is a nice win rate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're still pushing. So 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 basically yeah, you can simply see sorry that I, I, I entered you. You can simply see that his win rate is fifty seven percent, which is beautiful. And now his average risk compared to the rewards is 0 0.67 so basically like you know his win rate is i mean he wins more just that the risk compared to the reward of how much he wins and stuff is what's killing us here so that's one thing that we now need to focus on mean that whenever you put one obviously you have to start expecting three or more and stuff yeah. but we have to hold up until the three but i like the fact that the win rate is more so it means that you know our strategy is proven to be working right and this is like, to be honest this is what i'm expecting because you know, it's not always just like this, you know, yeah, yeah, that, just um, some that's why I'm, I'm respecting the risk that you're putting because you're, you're moving nice, you're moving, this is like a detailed plan of a trader, that, that's how it is, yeah? yeah, you can speak more. Yeah, so, yeah, guys, as you can see here, we have our trading journal. So, basically, everything that I do, FTMO tells me that you did this thing on this day. Wow. So, here you can see that I sold GBPUSD, of which uh, it took me about uh, at a break even, to be fair. This is not something I can say it's a profit, but you can see. And then I took another sell on gold, of which gave me uh, the, the trade that made me to be at a break even. Mm. And then here... On this trade of GBP out, you can see here I took a sell, uh, took like two trades at the same time. Mm. Uh, I took a loss of about $35. You can just pile it up about $70. Mm. To be honest with this trade, I learned something, I learned a lot on this trade to be honest because of my stop loss was too tight and then eventually the trade went into my direction but you know uh, that you have to manage your emotion you don't have to just feel like because of you are right about the trade you enter even if it has already left you just have to wait for that perfect entry mm -hmm. and then you execute and then here on gbp out i took a loss probably about a break even as well because of it like seven dollars yeah and then i took other break evens on pound aud and uh, nasdaq nice, as well nice, nice. So, yeah and i think i think from, it makes sense that you know um that's why it even gave us those stats that you know our average risk compared to rewards and stuff is yeah. 0 0.6 because of these break events were the ones that determined yeah. that so uh, i like the fact that you know the way that we respect our risk and stuff it makes perfect sense because if you're able to take a break, break even, it means that you're able to see that this thing is now changing, it's no mm -hmm. longer, mm -hmm. and you were able to, you know, have some profits and stuff, unlike, you know, having profits and then taking a loss, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, so, but, um, um, so what is the plan now? So far, you're on the fifth day, you are now halfway through, um, what is the plan? What is the plan? Like, oh, how are you willing, how are you targeting to hit that 10%, you know, um, and, 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 and then succeed and, you know, become, you know, um, uh, an authentic, you know, funded trader, um, when it comes to the FTMO section? 
Okay, to be honest, guys, uh, with FT mode, it all goes down to not uh, to be honest about win ratio. It mm. all goes down to risk management. If you are able to know your risk, and if you just win one trade, I've developed a strategy of in, that is based on uh, risk management. If I win one trade, that is gonna give me like three percent. Then I'm just gonna take uh, that three percent that I've made on that trade and risk all of it, and then I'm gonna be if that next trade goes into profit, I'm gonna be passing the the, the challenge with that three percent of risk if it doesn't go into profit or it takes me then i'm gonna be still at a break even so i'm still safe i didn't lose too much i didn't like uh, go beyond my my mm -hmm. my, my account so yeah. just two trades that i'm gonna be taking looking to take from now on uh i have a very positive mind that they're gonna be taking me to profit yeah. and probably making me pass the challenge nice 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 so you heard it from the man himself guys like what he actually did say here is that as much as you see him just you know remember there's four types of trades there's a big win, there's a big loss, there's a small win, there's a small loss. So basically what Fanny Lake is doing here is that he's using all these things, but he's taking away one thing, which is the big loss. He's going to have a big win, he's going to have a small loss, he's going to also have a small loss, I mean, a, a, a small win too. So what he's going to do now, his strategy is that he's going to apply the fact that, you know, yes, he's going to take trades and stuff, but he wants that one trade that he actually captures to be the one that actually, you know, pushes him forward. So like you saw, you got big win, I mean, you got small wins, you also got small losses. He doesn't have a big loss, né? but obviously a big win is something that's going to come soon so um yeah i think it only needs like you know just a few trees two trees like uh, you know yeah, two yeah. three trees and then you're done and as much as even losses come the losses as long as they are small then there's a way forward there's a lot yeah, of progress yeah. for it yeah. so yeah i'm excited i'm excited guys so let me not hold you we have a live session that we need to attack now guys just make sure that you're also if you're not part of the trip and oh obviously i know most of you guys are but if you're not part of the trip and oh link is down in the description box guys just make sure that you are in there so right now you're going to be taking these live trades with us and you know we'll be sharing with you each and everything that we are seeing our perspective our mindset and we're also going to be buying when you buy we're selling when you sell and all those things but yeah no let, 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 let us push on our live session and then we'll continue we'll continue yeah yeah okay okay guys so we already did you know um take a trade on yesterday we had to go and um i think it's somewhere around here it went down took us out so i was like okay no no problem mondays are days but you know obviously such things can happen so now i'm looking at this whole area here can you see this correction that's going on price was able to break out of here came back to retest and now it's continued to go back to the upside so i'm looking to just wait and get confirmations from the market but already i did enter um you know a buy position here because i could see my stop losses like literally below here but moving forward you know yeah you can see first touch second touch third touch so that's the area that we spoke about now let's see if it's gonna respect us and go a bit more to the upside okay guys so um you know it's been it's been it's been it's been a day so i actually did take two trades and you know two trades went against me so the past few days you know i've been posting just profits 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 so i'm sure like doesn't this guy take negatives but i remember i did one say you know mondays normally are not days for me but last week monday i made money and i was excited you know i was happy to have went home with something but yeah so now what i'm doing is that i'm just speaking with the members in the premium discussion group and you know just hearing them i'm we've got I, i'm one of the guys here that just landed like literally um Today, so it's like, um, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of light and stuff. I've got you also. Let me just move over to the side. So you can simply see our in the trip and all these good groups. I've got our members here that are like, you know, um, I'm now on model two. You've opened my eyes and stuff. So um, I'm excited, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, um, it's the most important thing is that the members are now seeing a different perspective, which is something that I, I just want to be able to just help as much as many people that I can, just so they can be able to just see the market in a different perspective. And just because it's a negative day, um, you know, doesn't mean there is a negative life. Obviously, it means that just the trade that we saw wasn't a positive trade. So obviously, it means that we can still capitalize moving forward. So that's one thing that we know we are going to be capitalizing on. Right now, let me just focus more on just hearing from the members, speaking and engaging with them. Okay, guys, so it's about to be knockout time for us here. You know, we're closing here um, at 5, 5 p.m. So you can see I'm skimming her, I'm with her, and you know, I've been spent the day with her, and even tomorrow is going to be the same thing, just to understand what's actually being on on her side of things. And you know, um, we'll be on, you know, I'll be seeing other members too. So, but yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. You got to see all the things that we managed to have spoken about, and now we just have to make conversions for the dripping O. So far, how many conversions did you make? 10 conversions. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
I made less than 10, but yeah. tomorrow, ne? Tomorrow, she made ne? less than 10 conversions, guys. Like, we get a lot of phone calls, but she made less than 10 conversions, which is okay. Moving forward, there is, you know, clear direction, yeah, no, but um you know tomorrow is another day we just have to you know focus on you know making sure that you know we put ourselves out there and not only that but you know we are you know impacting helping people making sure that they get the best care that they can get we spoke about you saw how i analyzed the markets you know um you saw how um, our ftmo members were able to like literally just play, play their part you know and um i'll also um do um on the next videos to come i'll be covering offense and then i'll also be covering you know tramine so you can get to see the dashboards and what actually did happen on their side too but it's about this one to be and you know i'll just keep on updating you guys with you know a lot of amazing stuff let me just continue speaking with my members here make sure that you like subscribe check out the forex youtube channel make sure that you like and subscribe on day two comment below what you think about this and i will see you on the next video salute bye Shh.